Welcome to the weekly news update on Crypto TV Plus. It's the 1st of March 2022. I'm Nikhil Shuni, bringing you the weekly dose of blockchain news. Coming up, South African Exchange raises $50 million in Africa's largest funding round. Ukraine accepts cryptocurrency donations. Cambridge University teams off with IMF and BIS to launch crypto research projects. Now let's get you updated on the Crypto Weekly News. First up, South African cryptocurrency exchange Valor raises $50 million in its Series B funding round. This funding round has not just made Valor valuation increase to $240 million, but it also marks the largest funding round in Africa. Funds from this round will be used to expand Valor's operations into other emerging African markets and India, introduce more products for its users, and hire more talent. Valor CEO and co-founder Fazem Essani said in a March 1st official statement shared with Cointelegraph that the society's financial tools should unite us, not divide us. He also added that Valor is helping to build a financial system that recognizes the oneness of the human race. There is no longer any room for doubt regarding the impact crypto assets are having on our global financial system. Meanwhile, Ukraine changed its mind about cryptocurrency as it accepts cryptocurrency donations to support the war victims amongst other things during the war. Over the past few weeks, the ongoing war between Ukraine and Russia has affected both the cryptocurrency market and even the global market at large. According to Ukraine Twitter account, the country will accept cryptocurrency more specifically Bitcoin, Ethereum and USDT. Alexander Sherber, a longtime Ukrainian diplomat, tweeted on Saturday 2022 and it reads, To those who want to help in Bitcoin, Bitcoin is officially legit in Ukraine just like this account and its retweet. Don't mind the comments of our Russian brothers. And finally, Cambridge University collaborates with some of the world's top banking institutions to launch its cryptocurrency research project. This project will be solely for the purpose of making research about blockchain and cryptocurrency and how to improve the ecosystem. Collaborations with this project will include the Cambridge Centre for Alternative Finance, banking institutions like Mastercard and Visa, London Stock Exchange Group and even the World Bank itself, amongst others. And that's it for the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. For more market updates and all the happenings captured in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, visit our website CryptoTVPlus.com. Also follow us on our social media, Facebook and Twitter at Crypto TV Plus to get daily info on our programs. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification button. And just in case you have questions regarding any of our news, join me in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I'm Nikhil Shini. Until next time.